What is up, guys? Um, you'll see here that we are in a new world, so I, I think I'm going to take like a minute or so to explain kind of what's going on here. Um, so we ended up actually trying to uh, get a recording of us trying to fight Skeletron here on expert mode. But um, we ended up getting completely decimated, and um, there wasn't a whole lot else we could have done to prepare for the fight. So um, we were pretty outmatched, and there wasn't a whole lot we could have done. And then also, as you saw last episode, we tried to take on the Brain of Cthulhu, and we died. We almost got him, though, but uh, we ended up dying anyway. So what I've elected to do here is um, switch to a downgraded map here. So it's still a small map, but it is no longer expert mode. It is going to be normal mode now. The biggest reason for the change is um, to drop the difficulty down a lot, of course, because... Um, I feel like expert mode is more so based around um, not restricting yourself as far as weaponry goes and armors and stuff. The way I'm trying to run through this playthrough with uh, just yo-yos and summons, I'm kind of left out in the open with uh, very little defense and not a whole lot of ways to dish out a whole lot of pain. So um, I think this is a good change. Um, the series is going to go by a bit quicker um, this way. and. Um, who knows, maybe I'll get an expert series going eventually, but um, you'll hear me off and on talk about debating on whether or not I'm going to make this switch. Um, I elected to make the switch very shortly after I recorded this, so... <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, that's about it. So uh, just sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and uh, let's get the ball rolling here. So, we're going to try and fight the uh, Skeletron again. Um, we should have no problem. I'm really used to the speed of the expert mode bosses. Um, Skeletron moves pretty slow compared to them, so um, we should be better off. Um, so he's on the agenda for today. As well as that, we're also going to go into the uh, dungeon right after we kill him and uh, explore around in there. Hopefully we'll get uh, some keys and better gear and stuff. Uh, as well as some more gold, because um, I did learn a certain fact that I would find very helpful with yo-yos. Um, Hannah, the nurse has arrived. All right. All the basics that I'm looking for have arrived. A merchant and a nurse. <laughs> um, I guess if you're in the ground long enough, um, there's a chance that you can find the skeleton merchant, of course. But um, I learned, however, that he carries on him the yo-yo glove every once in a blue moon. Now, the yo-yo glove is going to be amazing. I would really love to get my hands on that. So, um, I'm really going to be trying to do a lot more stuff in the caves until I can find that. Because if I can find that, that is the last of the three yo-yo items that I need to uh, combine in order to uh, create the yo-yo glove. That will free up another uh, accessory slot as well. So, it looks like we're nowhere near nighttime yet. So, let's go ahead and just head back home here. And uh, we'll actually uh, burn away some of the daylight cycle here, just uh, exploring down here. Hopefully we can find the merchant guy. Actually, let's hope that we don't, because um, I guess the yo-yo bag is, I mean, the yo-yo glove is going to uh, cost a hefty 50 gold. And I don't really have that right now. You'll see up here as well, there are life crystals. I have one in here as well, but you see, I tried to use it. And nothing happens. It is no more than a noisemaker anymore, people. We have 400 health now, so uh, we don't really have any use for uh, life crystals anymore. I need to look up and see if there's any other use for them besides. Um, let me actually just explore over here. I need to see if there's any more uses for them besides uh, just increasing life. If I can make something else with them, I will probably continue to collect them. But uh, other than that... I don't think I will. So we're basically just doing uh, some base, some exploring here until uh, night falls. Snowball cannon, that kind of sucks. Um, we'll take that. That'll farm up a little bit of extra gold. If you remember last episode, I used all of my gold trying to uh, get a uh, bunch of good rolls on my accessories, which went to no avail. All my stuff turned out to be crap, so... <laughs> Oh, they, they didn't turn out to be crap, I should say. It turned out alright, but it wasn't the roles I'm looking for. I'm looking to get warding, uh, and uh, menacing is the next best thing that I can get at the moment. What's down there? There's a bunch of urns I can break here. I'm basically just breaking all these urns to make some extra cash. So Head up to the surface here. We'll go ahead and sell this stuff that we got, and... Uh, 
start making our way over to the Eye of Cthulhu. I mean, uh, the Skeletron place, because it looks like we'll probably be able to take him on now. Um, by the time we get over there, anyways. You see, I also have a fishing pole over here, a uh, flesh catcher. Um, I'm going to start collecting some bait as well. He sells a fish net, a bug net, my bad. And I can catch bait with that, and uh, you see, like, the worms over towards the left where my mouse is. Um, I can use those to fish, and the fish can uh, give me help with, like, potion making and stuff like that. They can make some really good stuff, so um, I'm going to try and do some uh, potion making. Let me actually... Uh, Throw some of this stuff in here. I'm pretty sure I'll get more gold if I kill him in expert mode, so. Um, throw all that in there. Put that in there, too. We're going to actually retire this onto a uh, stand because that helped us through a decent amount of stuff. Uh, the bees weren't perfect, but uh, they definitely weren't terrible. Okay, so I'm six gold short of being able to purchase that uh, that yo-yo uh, glove. And after that comes the yo-yo bag. The yo-yo bag, the yo-yo glove is gonna be amazing once I can get my hands on that. That's going to uh, easily double my damage because it's gonna give me uh, two yo-yos. Um, so well, like when I hit an enemy, I'll be able to uh, fling out two yo-yos instead of uh, just one. Plus, I'll have the counterweight and the. Uh, oh, that was an accident. <laughs> Poor fish. <laughs> I accidentally killed that fish. This by this uh, world storms a lot like it's constantly snowing here since I made it and uh, it's constantly raining in the places where there isn't uh, snow but um, I can't remember where I was going with what I was just saying moving on it is becoming dark here pretty soon so we're just gonna make our way over there um, I should nah never mind I said I was going to try to make a uh, stand for, uh, well, a platform to fight the uh, Skeletron, but I really don't think I need that right now. As, like I said, I'm a badass and I'm used to uh, expert mode speed of these bosses. So um, I'm not too concerned about uh, him hitting me too much. Um, I'm, I'm probably just going to be fighting him up here. I've got a bunch of extra mobility anyway, so I should be okay to fight him. Now, um, I'm probably going to be grinding in here until I get a better yo-yo. And then uh, after that, I will probably be moving on back into expert mode to try and uh, take on some baddies there. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of uh, fast forward to uh, when it becomes dark out here because it's taking a little while and uh, I kind of ran out of stuff to say, <laughs> to be honest. And I don't want to be uh, stalling anymore, so... Um, we're going to take a break here, and when we get back, we will be uh, where we need to be as far as the night cycle goes to take on uh, Skeletron. Alright guys, so it looks like it is night time here now. I'm going to go ahead and pop a couple potions just to be safe. I really don't think I need them though. I've seen people fight Skeletron on a normal mode with nothing more than a hornet in a yo-yo. Uh, same one I have. And uh, I think my yo-yo has even rolled a bit better, so... Um, we're a bit more decked out. We got the full uh, B armor, so we have extra damage, and we've got three minions here uh, as far as imps go, too. So um, we should be good to destroy this guy, no problem. But uh can never be too safe, right? Here's the fight. He doesn't hurt that much at all, either. Minions don't do too much to help, uh, really, but, uh, you know, it's better than uh, having nothing at all. Damn, dude, our, uh, our yo-yo is destroying his hands, though. Wow, his health is just coming out in chunks. This fight gets a lot easier once you kill his hands, too, by the way. Um, you don't necessarily have to kill the hands first, but, uh, like I said last time, um, he deals a lot, uh... He deals. He takes a lot less damage until you destroy the hands, and uh, once you get the hands taken out, he can't really knock you into his head when he spins either. So this fight becomes super easy, especially in normal mode. Uh, expert mode, it's a little bit difficult because uh, once he's only ahead, he starts shooting bones at you, so you can't really do what I'm doing here and just uh, easily juggle him around. But uh, 
Yep, pretty easy fight in normal mode, not gonna lie. There we go. Easy as that. So I got four gold. Um, two gold away from being able to buy that yo-yo glove whenever I see the um, skeleton merchant again. So that is Skeletron in uh, normal mode. So let's go ahead and uh, waste no time in delving into the dungeon here. We're going to go right in and go hard on the paint, as it were. We're going to go ahead and actually take one of these water candles here. Um, those are basically just going to increase the spawn rate of mobs, so uh, you know, later on when I want to cause some trouble, I'm going to uh, be able to just break those. Well, to place one of those down, and uh, I'm going to be able to fight uh, some more mobs here. I'm going to go ahead and take those. Uh, ten books. I don't need them for uh, myself personally, but uh, for completionist sake, we're going to grab those to make a bookshelf. And those will be used to make like different spell books and stuff like that. But uh, you saw here, I picked up a golden key. These golden keys are going to open golden chests here in the dungeon. So we're going to uh, try and see if we can find one of those here. This place is just littered with skeletons, but uh, our summon should be able to take care of those. This chest, um, I think it's post hard mode, um, post Plantera, anyways. Plantera is a very difficult boss that you fight, uh, one of the last few bosses. Alright, so we open that. There's a cobalt shield. That is amazing. We're taking that right now. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and take the chest too. Break that booby trap before it becomes an issue. Looks like a, there's a mechanic down here too. Okay. We're not going to use her. Um, she's basically used for uh, wiring and stuff like that. I don't know anything about wiring. <laughs> so we're going to completely ignore her. Um, I tell you what, we're not going to ignore them. We're not going to ignore that door trap. We're going to take that right now. I really don't need to be doing anything except keeping my torch out with my minions, uh, destroying everything the way they are. So we're basically, we're going to be running through trying to light this whole place up. Uh, alchemy table, we're going to take that. We're also looking for another, uh, stand. It's going to be called the bewitching table. And that is, uh... Probably one of the best stands a summoner can have because uh, it basically lets you summon an extra minion. And that is going to be amazing when uh, I can only have three of these guys out at once. If I can get uh, that thing and then a summoning potion made, I'm going to be able to have five uh, imps out at once. And that is going to be awesome. Five imps at once fighting. Uh, oh, I didn't know I had another key. Cool, I'll take, I'll take this stuff then. Why not? <laughs> Five uh, minions at once is going to be amazing fighting Skeletron in expert mode. I'm going to be doing a lot more damage that way. So, um, you see here, Ancient Necro Helmet. There's a chance I can get that from uh, Skeleton. Um, that just increases um, range damage, which I'm not too concerned about right now. Um, Aqua Scepter's magic. Uh, I'll demonstrate all the stuff when I get back, but... Uh, for now, we're just going to kind of run through this and take all the loot we can. There's the Bewitching Table down there. Um, we're going to go ahead and activate that and give ourselves a fourth minion here. And we're definitely going to take this up. We're going to keep this with us at all times for, uh, like, whenever we run out. Because um, it's got a cooldown, and whenever we run out of the cooldown on that, we're just going to... Uh, oh, we just got shot at. We're getting fired at. We're just going to replace it back down, use it, and then pick it back up. Really good to keep on you when uh, you're doing extended periods of exploration. Like we do on a normal basis here. We usually don't go back till we die, so. <laughs> There's that. Um, some of these books, you got a chance of uh, getting uh, spell books from them. Um, like I said, I'm not really going to be focusing on spells, so I'm not going to be looking for those. Um, it's basically just going to be Water Bolt. I think that's the only one actually that you can get. So that purple slime is always going to have a golden key on them. So that's pretty cool. Um, that guy just got decimated by a rain of fire. So that was also cool. Alright. See if we can find another golden chest here. I really want to find a shadow key. If I can find a shadow key, I'm going to be a happy camper. Kill him, guys. There you go. Okay. Nothing in there. 
A lot of, a lot of skeletons in there. So as you can see, as you work through here more and more, there's a lot of gold to be had, especially in expert mode. Um, drop rates and everything are increased there, so um, I'm going to obviously get a bit more gold there. So I'm going to try to get to the point where I can take on Skeletron there, and then uh, I don't want to come back here unless I can't beat a boss in expert mode, and then I'm going to come back here and beat him just so I can farm up. Vicious looking eye, nice. Uh, blue moon is cool, it's a flail. That's, uh, take a gold coin, why not? Oh, I can't use my torches as a weapon. What's wrong with me? I'm not thinking straight. To focus on a shadow key. Another ancient necro helmet, I guess I can sell that. Alright. I think the alchemy table is just used for potion making as well, so um, that's just a decorative piece. Damn it, I don't have any more gold uh, gold keys. Dang. 